Diocese of Biloxi, I have the privilege of welcoming everyone to this wonderful Mass, this celebration, and this prayer for peace in Ukraine. We welcome Archbishop Thomas Rohde, our Metropolitan Archbishop, so welcome, welcome. Thank you all. We welcome, of course, Bishop Vitaly Kravitsky from uh, Kiev in the diocese. <laughs> he will be preaching today. We also have Bishop Marcelo Sanchez Sorondo. He's the Chancellor Emeritus of the Pontifical Academy of Science and in the Pontifical Academy of Social uh, Sciences in Rome. So, welcome. <laughs> And we welcome all of our local and state representatives that are here. Welcome to each of you. And then uh, especially to our uh, Knights and Dames of the Holy Sepulchre, to our Knights of Peter Claver, our Knights of Columbus, uh, in a very special way. And then all of our priests that are gathered here, all of our, our uh, deacons, and then all of our religious that are here, welcome. And then finally, to the faithful, especially to all of our representatives that are here from the various parishes throughout the entire diocese, uh, to welcome Bishop Vitaly and to pray for the people in Ukraine. Welcome to all of you. God bless you, and let us pray. Bishop Kenneman, thank you for your invitation to be here and your welcome. It is a, an honor to be with you and Bishop Vitaly. Bishop Serrano and, and our pastor, Father O'Connor, and priest, and all who are here. Thank you. So let us gather in this prayer for peace in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. We pray for peace, but where does the lack of peace begin? In our hearts first, before it is anywhere else, if Peace is not present, it is here. So let us first acknowledge our sins. Acknowledge the times that we have not built peace in our homes, among our friends, among our workers, among strangers. And acknowledging our sins, prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stand in front of me. Excellent. Thank you. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord said to me, You are my servant, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, the Lord says, for you to be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. 
grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from heaven and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Lord Jesus Christ. Na samym początku przepraszam, że nie mogę powiedzieć tej homilii po angielsku. At the beginning I apologize, I cannot deliver this homily in English. Ale mogę powiedzieć tą homilię w duchu wiary. But I can say this homily in the spirit of faith. W duchu Ewangelii, którą przed chwilą przeczytaliśmy. In the spirit of the gospel just proclaimed to us. Bo nie zważając na to, w jakim języku ona jest napisana, ona mówi o tym samym. Because it speaks about the same reality in all the languages of the world. I dlatego proszę w tym momencie Ducha Świętego, aby podpowiadał słowo jak dla mnie, tak i dla mojego przyjaciela, tłumacza, który donosi moje słowo dla was. Therefore I ask the Holy Spirit to give me his words as well as my translator. <laughs> Przebywam tutaj, aby przedstawić dzisiaj naród cierpiący. I come to you today to speak about my suffering nation. 
Dwa tygodnie ostatnie niby mieliśmy pewne zacisze, jeżeli chodzi o oszczał rakiet. The last two weeks been quite quiet in terms of the rocket attacks. Ale dzisiaj całą noc w Ukrainie, cały dzień przedłużały się te ataki wiele godzin. But that changed just the last night. We were attacked for the whole night. Znowu jest wiele ofiar i wiele ludzi rannych. Again we have a lot of victims, a lot of wounded. I przede wszystkim jest wielka pokusa widzieć rakiety, widzieć śmierć, widzieć ból, ale nie widzieć Boga, który przychadza się, można powiedzieć, między tymi rzeczywistościami. Of course we deal with temptation to just see the rockets, to see the pain, to see the death, but not to see God walking with us through these realities. Bardzo dziękuję za tą inicjatywę, żeby w tym kościele dzisiaj modlić się o pokój w Ukrainie. I thank you for this initiative to pray right here at this church for peace for Ukraine. Serdecznie dziękuję i braciom w biskupstwie, w kapłaństwie i też każdej siostrze, brat, brat, bracie za to, że usłyszeli to słowo i jest, jesteście tutaj. I thank each of my brothers bishops and all of the brothers and sisters here present that you've heard that word of appeal to pray for the nation. Ale przedstawiam dzisiaj naród, który też się modli o pokój i proszę sobie wyobrazić, jak czeka tego dnia, kiedy będzie mu powiedziane, że pokój już jest. Zwycięstwo nastąpiło. But I represent a nation that is awaiting that very day when we will finally be able to experience peace again. Naród ukraiński jest podobny do narodu izraelskiego z dzisiejszej Ewangelii, który czekał na przyjście Mesjasza. This nation of Ukraine is similar to the chosen nation from today's reading, the nation of Israel. That was awaiting the Messiah. To był długi czas oczekiwania, a prorocy mówili cały czas niebawem. Już krótki czas, a on przyjdzie. It was a long period of waiting, despite the prophets assuring the people he is coming soon. I było pewna ilość ludzi, którzy wyszli na brzegi Jordanu, wyszli do Joana, dlatego że uwierzyli, że on naprawdę jest blisko. There were people that came to the Jordan because they believed that the Lord is near. Wyszli na brzegi Jordanu, żeby tam na tym miejscu zostawić swoje grzechy, nawrócić się i zacząć nowe życie. They came to the Jordan River to leave their sins and, they, and begin their life anew. Bo naprawdę mocnym sercem uwierzyli, że on naprawdę jest blisko. With their whole heart, they believe the Lord is near. I nastąpił, nastąpił ten dzień, kiedy Jan Chrzciciel wskazał na Chrystusa i powiedział, to jest On. Finally the day arrived when John pointed up to Jesus, saying, behold the Lamb of the Lord. To jest Ten, który bierze mój i Twój grzech na siebie. This is he who takes my sin and yours upon himself. To nie jest przywódca narodowy, to nie jest lider jakiejś partii, tylko ten, komu bardzo zależy na mnie. He is not the leader of any political party, he is not the head of a state, but he is a person concerned just with me. W czasie mszy świętej przed komunią my Często powtarzamy te słowa, ale nie zawsze sobie uświadamiamy. We often repeat these words before Holy Communion without being fully aware of their meaning. Chcę się podzielić dzisiaj, że uświadomiłem sobie nieco lepiej to słowo Jana Chrzciciela. I want to share with you that I have realized these words of St. John a little bit better. Blisko miesiąca temu miałem 
odwiedzałem jedną rodzinę, która odprowadzała swego męża, brata, ojca, odprowadzała na wojnę. Just a month ago I visited a family uh, whose father and husband was about to leave for the war. To była taka kolacja, modlitewna kolacja, podczas której mogliśmy i zjeść, powiedzieć dobre słowo, ale też błogosławić tego człowieka. It was a prayerful supper where we shared the meal, we prayed, but we also blessed that man. Ja sobie wtedy w ten wieczór uświadomiłem, że dzisiaj błogosławię go i on idzie na pierwszą linię frontu, aby walczyć za mnie. I realized I was blessing the man who was about to go to the front in order to fight for me. I dopóki on walczy, dopóki on stoi na tej linii frontu, ja mogę być w pewnym bezpieczeństwie. As long as he stands there in this first line of war, I can feel a little bit safe. On oczywiście sam jest przekonany, że on idzie walczyć też za swoją rodzinę, za swoją żonę, za swoich dzieci. He is fully aware he is going to fight for his family, for his wife, for his children. Ale dla mnie ten wieczór był też takim odkryciem, że on idzie walczyć konkretnie za mnie. But for me that evening was a kind of a discovery that he is going there also to fight for me. Ile może zło- robić, zrobić jeden człowiek? How much one person can do? Ile może uratować jeden człowiek? How many people can one person save? Nieco więcej może uratować na przykład cała e, armia. Maybe an army could save much more people. Ale Jezus Chrystus biorąc krzyż na swoje plece, a później mój grzech biorąc też na siebie, on chce umrzeć za każdego i za wszystkich. But Jesus Christ taking the cross on his shoulders, taking our sins on his shoulders, he died for each and every person and for the whole of the nations. Dzisiejsza Ewangelia zaprasza każdego z nas zobaczyć Boga, Chrystusa, który jest blisko obok nas. This gospel passage proclaimed to us today invites us to see God who is near to each one of us. I czasami w niektórych y, życiowych, życiowych takich sytuacjach postąpić nie tak jak czyni świat, ale tak jak czyni osoba wierząca. And at some life situations conduct ourselves not as the world does but as a person who believes. Kiedyś na wschodzie e, Ukrainy, e, kiedy tam już się rozpoczęła e, wojna od e, 2014 roku, miał okazję być z taką grupą modlitewną w domu e, jednej rodziny. Some time ago, some time ago in the eastern Ukraine, in the beginning of war in 2014, I had a privilege, a opportunity to be there with a particular family. Nas przyjmowała jedna starsza pani, która już miała ponad 60 lat e, i która prosiła nas, księży i wolontariuszy, abyśmy nauczyli ją się modlić. I remember an older lady in her 60s who asked all of us to teach her how to pray. Bo ona za czasy Związku Radzieckiego nigdy nie chodziła do kościoła, nigdy nie praktykowała swoją wiarę. Because he never, she never had a chance to go to church, to catechism classes, uh, while the Soviet Union occupied that territory. Ale mówią, że na wojnie nie ma ateistów. But as some people say, there are no atheists during the war. I ona zaczęła praktykować swoją wiarę. She began to practice her faith. I mówiła, że ja się modlę tak jak umiem. She used to tell us, I pray as I know how to pray. I podczas oszczału, kiedy rakiety lecą do jej wioski, wszyscy się chowają, a one wyskakiwały na ulicę. 
is most of the people hide themselves during the rocket attacks uh, and bombs landing in her village. She goes out to the streets to pray. Ona podnosiła ręce do góry i e, krzyczała: e, Boże, nakryj nasz dom chmurami. She lifted her arms into the air and cried out strongly to the Lord, "Cover our home with the clouds." E, z, e, Panie, ukryj nasz dom, żeby te rakiety nie widziały. Hide our home so the rockets will miss it. Pytam się, i co, i jakie skutki? So I ask her, how, how does it work? Ona mówi, no, padały rakiety od prawej strony, od lewej strony, ale do domu nie trafiały. She replied, there were rockets landing to the left, landing to the right, but never to the house. A jej córka powtarza, że, podpowiadała, że mama tak często praktykuje. Her daughter used to tell us that uh, her mother does it quite often. Ja się spytałem, czy to uh, my mamy panią nauczyć się modlić? So I asked her, you asked me to teach you how to pray? <laughs> Naprawdę to była modlitwa osoby wierzącej i już bardzo praktykującej. It was a prayer of true believer who truly practiced her faith. Jej modlitwa wyprosiła łaskę dla jej domu, dla jej rodziny. Her prayer uh, delivered a grace for her and for her family. Ale Bóg tak naprawdę chce pomóc każdemu z nas. But God wants to help each one of us. Jeżeli on pomaga jednemu człowiekowi na jednej stronie kuli ziemskiej, to jednocześnie może pomóc i wielu innym, i z drugiej też strony kuli. If he can help one person from one side of the globe, he is capable of helping the other on the other side of the globe. I też ludzie, którzy zanoszą modlitwę z drugiej strony kuli ziemskiej, mogą być pewni, że oni są wysłuchani w tych owocach, które są znowu takie z drugiej strony. It works when people from one side of the globe pray that the fruits are quite felt among the people who lived on the opposite side of the globe. I będąc tutaj w tym gronie, ja bym chciał bardzo serdecznie podziękować braciom biskupom, ale też wszystkim wiernym za to, że się, że odpowiedzieli na wyzwanie papieża, który zaprosił nas dowierzyć, oddać niepokalanemu sercu Maryi, Rosję i Ukrainę. Being here with you, I want to take this opportunity to thank my brother bishops, but also each one of you for responding to the request of Pope Francis and pray for the consecration of Russia and Ukraine. Każdy z nas biskupów dostał list od papieża, który pytał się, czy masz coś przeciwko temu, żeby zrobić taki akt ofiarowania. Each one of us bishops received a letter from Pope Francis asking us if we have anything, if we are opposed to the act of consecration. Ja rozumiem, że nie było prawdopodobnie wiele przeciwko i dlatego ta modlitwa naprawdę się odbyła. I am not aware of a single bishop who opposed the act and that why it became possible. I jestem tutaj aby powiedzieć, że tydzień później po tym zawierzeniu wojska rosyjskie odeszli z pół, całej północy Ukrainy. I am here to tell you that just week following the act of consecration the Russian troops left the northern part of Ukraine. Oni też zwolnili całą północ naszej diecezji kijowsko-żytomierskiej. They surrendered the northern part of my diocese of Kiev, Żytomir. To był tylko drugi miesiąc wojny. It was just the second month of war. Jeszcze byliśmy w pewnym sensie jak bezradni. We felt helpless. I dzisiaj nikt nie może dać odpowiedź, dlaczego 
to wojsko odeszło z północy Ukrainy. But today nobody can tell why did the Russian troops left the northern part. Nie zawsze mogą powiedzieć politycy, ale ludzie wierzący tak. Politicians cannot tell, but those people who believe, they can tell. A bo poczymy na też tą wojnę nie tylko jak na sprawę polityczną i militarną. Because we look at this war not only from the perspective of politics and military. Pamiętamy, że to ofiarowanie niepokalonemu sercu Maryi Rosji nie było wymyślone dzisiaj w tym czasie, ale 100 lat temu o tym Matka Boża w Fatimie konkretnie powiedziała. We remember that the idea for consecrating Russia and Ukraine did not come just recently, but over a hundred years ago from the apparition of Mary. Maria nawet nazwała to słowo Rosja, którego dzieci, małe dzieci nie rozumiały, nie wiedziały o co chodzi i o kogo chodzi. The, the way Mary named nation um, caused the children not to understand the what particular nation Mary speaks about. I chcę powiedzieć, co się stało dwa dni po tym zawierzeniu. But I want to tell you what happened just two days after the act of consecration. Nasze seminarium znajduje się przy samym Kijowie e, obok tak wiadomych miejscowości Irpin i Bucza. Our seminary is located just outside of Kiev, uh, closer to the uh, village of Bucha. Seminarium zostało kompletnie rozgrabione przez Rosjanów. Everything was stolen from the property. Ale właśnie dwa dni po tym zawierzeniu niepokalanemu sercu Maryi do, na teren seminarium e, przyleciała rosyjska rakieta. But just two days after the act of consecration, a Russian missile landed on seminary property. Po wybuchu e, rzeczywiście było nieco odłamków i oni zniszczyli e, naokoło wiele rzeczy. After the explosion, there was a lot of uh, destruction to the buildings around. Ale jeden odłamek e, przeleciał e, blisko 100 metrów ile to będzie w futach, e, blisko 100 metrów przebił okno i wleciał do refektarzu naszej, naszego seminarium. But uh, a part of the missile uh, got into the building through the window, into the uh, dining hall. To był jedyny odłamek od tego wybuchu, który przeleciał do uh, tego refektarza. It was the only part of the missile that got into any building, inside of any building. I ten odłamek precyzyjnie trafił w głowę figurki Matki Bożej Fatimskiej. And that missile uh, targeted or rather destroyed just the forehead of the statue of Our Lady of Fatima. Kiedy zobaczyliśmy to, kiedy zrozumieliśmy, co się stało, e, nasza wiara e, stała jeszcze większą. When we notice the damage to the statue, our faith increased. Bo później jeszcze za kilka dni rosyjskie wojska odstąpiły z północy Ukrainy. Because just a few days after the Russian troops left the northern part of Ukraine. Zobaczyliśmy Boga, który przechadza się obok nas. We have recognized the God walking among us. Zobaczyliśmy siłę też orędownictwa na świętszej Maryi Panny. We have experienced the power of the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Jestem tutaj na tym miejscu, aby dawać świadectwo tym, którzy może mają z tym problemy. I am here to give witness, especially to those who might have difficulty recognizing the power of Mary's intercession. I jak wtedy na początku wojny um, było bardzo dużo modlit, który zanosił cały świat o pokój w Ukrainie. As in the beginning of war, there were a lot of prayers coming from around the world for Ukraine and the peace. 
Tak, dzisiaj wiemy, że ludzie się zmęczyli nawet pytaniem Ukrainy i możliwość tej modlitwy dzisiaj nie jest aż tak dużo. We recognize that today people grew tired of praying for Ukraine and the prayer around the world decreased. W żadnym wypadku nie mówię, że jej nie ma, tylko prawdopodobnie jest mniej niż było na początku. I am not saying nobody is praying for Ukraine, but the prayer decreased comparing to the time at the beginning. I dlatego sytuacja na wschodzie Ukrainy z wojną jest dzisiaj bardzo trudna. This is why the situation of, of war, especially in the eastern part of Ukraine, is now very difficult. I jestem dzisiaj na tym miejscu, aby powiedzieć, że modlitwa o pokój jest rzeczą silną. I am here to tell you that the prayer of peace is powerful. Ale pokój nie przychodzi sam po sobie. But people doesn't, but peace does not come on its own. Trzeba wiele natrudzić się, aby jego powrócić. There must be a lot of effort to bring peace back. I modlitwa między innymi jest tym trudem. Prayer is one of those efforts. I ja pokornie na tym miejscu zwracam się do każdego z prośbą, aby nie opuszczać ręce. So I humbly ask each and every one of us, you, not to lower your hands, lift them up in prayer. Serdecznie dziękuję za tą modlitwę, która już była wypowiedziana. I thank you for all the prayers that you have already prayed. Ale mówią, kto dziękuję, ten dwa razy prosi. But as they say, the one who thanks asks even more. I dlatego jeszcze raz proszę o tą modlitwę i dzięki tej modlitwie i naszej wiary będzie tak, jak chce Bóg. So once again, I ask for your prayers and because of those prayers, the will of God will be done. I niech Jego wola będzie w życiu każdego z nas. May His will realize in everyone's life. A ja oczywiście tą mszę dzisiaj wyjątkowo w tej mszy modlę się nie tyle o pokój, o ile za tych wszystkich i tutaj obecnych, którzy modlą się za ten pokój. So I celebrate this Mass not only for peace, but for all who are gathered here and for all who continue to pray for us. I za wszystkich dobrodziejów, którzy nie dają nam zginąć. And I pray for all benefactors who do not let us die. Thank you very much. Whether we live in Italy, Ukraine, Mississippi, or Alabama, we share the same apostolic faith. Together as a people of peace, a people of faith, let us profess our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his king will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As a people of faith and with the confidence of faith, we offer our prayers to our Father in heaven. that the pastors of the, of the church may become zealous preachers of the gospel stirred by the wisdom of Jesus Christ crucified. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bishop Vitale, that God may continue to strengthen and guide him as he shepherd for the people of Ukraine as they pray and hope for lasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved country as we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day, that justice, peace, and concord may, resa- may reign, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace this week to keep our eyes on Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may experience the healing power of God's strength, and for all those who have died, especially Annette Carter and Mary Reader, May they enter into the light of God's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, Father, we pray for peace. Peace in our hearts, our homes, our communities, Ukraine, the world. As we offer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. collection taken up for Ukraine. Please note that.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when sup was ended, he took the chalice. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial 
of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, her nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us for God an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with the saints, the church, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we really for unfailing help. <coughs> May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us all return to God in peace. Peace be with you. Thank you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace. Amen. Peace be with you. Good. On your stay, quit all this bad God's humble
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. prepared a table before me, and how precious is the chalice that quenches my thirst.
lettuce. Right. Pour on, pour on us, O oh Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those who have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now for the most chilling words a Catholic can hear, please be seated for a moment. <laughs> Bishop Vitali and I met five and a half years ago in Rome. Uh, it was the gathering of the new bishops in the whole world, and uh, it was uh, the, called the Masters of Spirituality, but we lovingly call it Baby Bishop School. <laughs> and in the last year, we've had the opportunity to renew our friendship and I appreciate Father Adam being our translator at times because my Russian and Ukrainian and Polish is terrible <laughs> and his English at times is also terrible. <laughs> we welcome him in a very special way with great joy uh, but also great concern. Uh, when he told me that the Russians had invaded his diocese, I was really, really, my heart went out to him and his priests and his people especially. Uh, and that the, Our Lady has uh, provided the intercession for them to withdraw from your diocese is a gift. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. And we continue to, of course, pray as he's asked for the people of Ukraine and for peace, uh, that there may be a lasting peace, and also for the conversion of Russia. I mean, that's where it's going to take for us to bring real peace to that part of the world and for the whole world. Um, We welcome also uh, Archbishop Rohde, who, of course, is one of our previous bishops, but now the Archbishop and the Metropolitan. It's good to have you here. Uh, he will share a few words after me, uh, and uh, it's an opportunity for us to con celebrate together because we don't get a chance to do that very much. So welcome, welcome. And then Bishop Marcelo Sanchez uh, Sorundo from Rome. We appreciate him also uh, being here uh, with us. Uh, Father Mike O'Connor and his staff have been wonderful and so we just thank you for everything y'all have done. Uh, we have a, a dinner in Bishop Vitale's honor after the, the mass today. Uh, we're grateful to you. My whole staff, I'm really grateful to you for all you've done. It's been uh, quite a journey. We had about two weeks to get this set up and uh, wonderful. Uh, and of course the parishioners here at Our Lady of the Gulf have been a gift. Um, Alisa, uh, Alicia, thank you, and the choir, thank you very much. We appreciate you. Uh, Annette has really worked hard, the parish secretary, uh, and she uh, hasn't excommunicated me or any of my staff yet, <laughs> which is good. Uh, and then uh, all of the lay ministers that have helped are, of course, our knights and ladies of the Holy Sepulchre, we appreciate you being here to represent the Holy Land. Uh, also, all of our Knights of uh, Peter Claver and Knights of Columbus, thank you uh, for being here. Father Adam, thank you for translating. Uh, last night we had dinner, and I turned to him at the end of the meal, and I said, you're going to be dreaming Polish and English back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So thank you to all of our priests who have been con celebrating. Uh, we appreciate you. And then Bishop, uh, Bishop, see, I just promoted you, Deacon Vercel, so here you go. 
Deacon Vercel, thank you. And with the team of uh, deacons that have uh, accompanied the bishops, then all of our seminarians that have been serving the Mass, we appreciate you. Uh, and especially we appreciate all of our local and state officials that are here. Thank you for your presence. Uh, at the, the meal after the Mass, there'll be a promulgation in honor of Bishop Vitale and his diocese from the whole state of Mississippi. So that'll be a special moment. Um, I know I'm forgetting someone to thank, but God bless you. <laughs> I know that Archbishop Brody would like to say something also. Just a word that in listening to Bishop Vitale, one of the things that truly struck me was that his words were words of faith. Our faith is tested in, to its core when things are difficult. That's when we know if our faith is true or not. When we can look evil, when we can look suffering straight in the eye and say, you will not have the last word with the confidence that God is with us in all things. And I heard that from this good bishop and all that he and his people are suffering, still they believe in God. And as the Bible says, all things, all things work for good for those who trust in the Lord. I do not know what God is doing, why he is allowing this suffering but we will pray and ask Mary to pray with us that our faith will never waver, no matter what we go through, any one of us, knowing that God always holds us in his hands. A final word of, of, of appreciation to be with all of you all, but especially a word to the parishioners here of Our Lady of the Gulf Parish. Just let me just say something personal, if you will, how important special this place is to me. In the 1920s, 100 years ago, my grandparents were parishioners here, and my, my dad as a little boy went to St. Stanislaus. And Then in the 70s and 80s, uh, after my dad retired, he and my mom moved back here, and they were parishioners here during the 70s and the 80s. And so this has a very special meaning to me. But even more importantly, the first priest I ever ordained was your pastor. I started out pretty good, huh? <laughs> Set a high bar for everyone else. Let us ask God's blessing as we go forth. The Lord with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.